Make sure you disconnect the ground terminal from the battery before you begin this project and place it somewhere that it can't accidentally come in contact while you are working. There is a fascia or cover over the rear of the trunk that is held on by eight push clips, red arrows, hidden, and one shear or security bolt, yellow arrow. Remove the license plate and drill out the head of the shear bolt behind it. Use a trim removal tool or tape up the shaft of a flathead screwdriver and pry the fascia plate away from the trunk, releasing the eight clips. This photo illustrates the trunk with the fascia removed. You can see the holes for the push clips, red arrows, and the drilled out shear bolt, yellow arrow. With the fascia off, you remove the two T27 torque bolts, green arrows, already removed, holding the lift handle and key assembly. I remove the two license plate lights, red arrows, they just pry out. With the mechanism loose, I could see that the cable was still attached to the lift handle, so I tried to grab the sheath of the cable with pliers, red arrow, and manually pull the handle attached to the end of the cable. The cable only has about a half inch of travel, but you need to pull the cable and not the sheath around it. The next step was to remove the lift handle and key assembly from the trunk to remove the cable from the handle and to be able to pull it separately. Unfortunately, to remove the handle from the outside of the trunk meant small cuts in the sheet metal. I made two small cuts in the handle opening towards the trunk area, red arrow, and then bent the metal back. Slip the handle and the key assembly out of the trunk. Everything was fine with the handle and the key, yellow arrow, so I removed the cable, green arrow, and supporting the sheath manually, pulled the end of the cable. This did nothing, which meant I was now going to move down to the lock latch assembly. The red arrow shows where the cuts were made in the trunk. You cannot see the lock latch assembly from outside the trunk. I decided to drill three small exploratory holes, red arrow, in the metal to see if the cable was binding on something were not hooked up to the lock latch. With the small access hole I created, I could now see that the cable was attached and that something must be broken in the lock latch. This meant that the lock latch had to come out from the rear, which meant cutting a larger hole in the trunk sheet metal. I drilled a couple of pilot holes and broke out the sawzall to cut and access the panel. The metal is quite thick here, and if you do not own a sawzall, a Dremel will do. Just be prepared to go through a lot of cutting bits. Note, if you take care here and can cut a small enough hole that it will be covered by the fascia plate, and no one will be the wiser when you put it back together, and you will save yourself a small fortune in body shop bills. We now have access to the lock latch assembly, red arrow. With the access hole open, I broke off the top of the electrical portion of the lock, giving me access to the lower manual section. Once I had done this, I could see where the end of the cable had slipped out of its position and had jammed itself in the guide channel, red arrow. I simply pulled the cable out of the mechanism and used my fingers to move the latch and the trunk popped open. With everything replaced and fixed, I simply reinstalled the fascia and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.